Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Nuzlocke. <gasps> We're continuing to make our way through the Elite Four. My arm still hurts. Update on the arm. Oh, thank god. I knew there was someone here who could heal my damn Pokemon. I just didn't know who. There. Thank you. Good looking Pokemon for a good looking trainer, am I right? Let me see. There's no Pokemon we haven't caught here yet. No. there We can catch a Pokemon is what I mean if we run into one. One that's preferably not Raticate on repeat. Let's see how much EXP you give me for killing you. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay, that's a decent amount. I'll keep doing it. Oh, no, that's bad. I mean, that could be worse. It is bad, though. I, mean, I will not lie on the situation of badness. Ah, he thought I was gonna run away. Nope, Jolene never runs, except for when it's type disadvantage. There we go. Uh, I, I, just to give a reminder, the reason why Jolene isn't training is that she needs to learn her last good grass move so that she can actually evolve into her final form. She's, I think, the only one from the original team that is still... Sure, read it. To my brothers and sisters. Holla, if you hear me. Love, Monica. No, dude, why are you reading someone's- why am I reading someone's diary? Well, no, the reason is, is that I want to know what's up. Hello. Going down. Let me get on my bike. I don't got time for this. There we go. I'm gonna go back to that healing lady. Heal up my gloom for me. God damn it. Well, it's fine, because I can run into a Pokemon. Not Radicate, though. Or as I like to call them, inferior beings. Uh oh, that's actually bad. If you get a crit, if you get a crit, oh. Mmm. You also know pursuit. Oh, thank God. For a second, there, I thought that was gonna be real bad for me. Thank God, it's only using the move it knows most. Hmm, you should have stuck. Why'd you go to Twick? It pop pop. Why'd you go to Quick Attack? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're faster than Kid Fisto, I'd assume. Actually, I think Kid Fisto's actually kind of strong, isn't he? No, not strong. Duh, he's strong. Um, fast, I mean. But he's fast because of, um. He's fast because of, uh. What's the word I'm looking for? Ooh, Ponyta! That's not the word I was looking for. Jolene, you are not good to fight this Ponyta. I don't really think anyone's good. Oh, you know what? Nexus. Ponyta might be good to have if, Nux if something ever happens to Nux. You never know. <sighs> Let's see. Flame Wheel. Hmm. It's also today Sunday. I think that's Mother's Day, right? Or was tomorrow Mother's Day? Or it was Saturday Mother's Day? I'm pretty sure Sunday is Mother's Day. Let me check on this one. For a second there, I thought I was fighting a regular Ponyta. Mother's Day 2020. May 10, yeah. Today's Mother's Day. Correct. Man. Speaking of mothers, I love my mom. But beside, that's beside the point. If you want to hear a mom story, listen to the last episode, which ended up being a mom story. Um, shoot, what was I going to say? You know who really loves their mom? Mr. T. From, um... Uh, you know what I'm going to call you? Yeah. I'm going to call you... Come here, roach. Hey. You like my Geralt of Rivia voice? Roach. Come here, Roach. Uh. I need to have less emotion to actually do Geralt. Or more Batman, I should say. Roach. Come here, Roach. 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 Iceberry. Nice. What the hell was I going to talk about before I got distracted by doing my Geralt voice? Or you can call me Wokey Arivia. Um, 
I'm almost close to beating Witcher 3. I fuck whatever I was going to say. Mom. Mr. T loves his mom. There was like a, a the Hall of Fame. He dedicated uh, 30 minutes to his mother. Where he's like, I tore across her uterus. And even then, my mama loved me. And then like, everyone's like, is this a bit? And then Kane came out to his music for some reason. And he told him like, hey, you need to wrap it up and then Mr. T goes like I'm sorry everyone <laughs> I spent all that time talking about my mom <laughs> you should really look up it, I felt like um I think that was the first time that they ever like pop up ever did a um um hall of fame where they showed the entire thing on the network and holy shit was it something else man that Mr. T mama sketch is like is crazy it was so crazy oh my god that's a motherfucking blastoise uh, go jolene i guess what are the chances this blastoise knows ice beam and completely rocks jolene's world okay no sir one of the greatest water moves if i take a lot of damage from this i might heal up and see what he does next i didn't so Mmm, rain dance. Oh, that's a cool animation for rain dance. Yes, good job. After I said, like, do I ever use stun spore? Literally, next episode, I use stun spore. Um, yeah, that man loves, um, that man loves his mom. It's really weird. You should, well, no, it's not weird to love your mom. If you can, Depending on, I don't know what your relationship with your mom is, you know, everyone's his mom's relationship is different, is what I try to say. That guy does a lot more damage under your effect of Rain Dance, by the way. I actually think if he crits, he might actually kill me. Oh, thank god. Who knew Rain Dance would end up being... I knew Rain Dance, like, increased the power of stuff. I didn't know it was that much, though. God damn. Damn, pal. Once again, he is surfing on my body. Let's see how much this does. I'm at 91. Almost 30. Pretty close to it. Um, with this absorb, I should be able to survive even if he does crit. That was the basic math in my head as uh, I was doing it. Man. Yeah, the, the, the Mr. T thing was so weird. It's so bizarre. It goes on for so long. I want to say it's an hour long. It felt like three hours when I was watching it all live. Um, it was so weird. I don't. It was so weird that like eventually on Mother's Day they eventually did like a supercut of all the mama stuff and they released it on uh, as like a I think a joke trailer thing. It was like remember to love your mama and then he's like I love my mama. I tore out her uterus and doing all this other stuff. Oh. Oh, did. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Tiffany tried to call me, and it was, she was like, oh, wrong number. You cheating on me, Tiffany? With another woman? Because I won't mind. Just tell me. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, probably I would, actually, if we're being real. I'm not that I would mind if someone was lesbian and they didn't know, and in which case they were like, well, I tried it with you, and. I think you're a really cool guy, but it's just not working for me, then I would say, like, well, you gave it your college try. Let's go find you a lady. But if she <laughs> but if she went another further step and was like, also oh, I cheated on you, I would go like, oh, why? You couldn't have waited? That's her fucked up. You shouldn't do that. No matter what an entire genre of um, Dojin will tell you. Ignore the tag, vanilla only. Hello, man. You want to fight? Yeah, damn it. I tried to see if I could avoid him. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. Okay, Tony Montalia. What happens after you get the power? Then you get the women. And then I think you get... Bitches? I can't remember the exact lineage of... What gets you what in... Scarface. I do remember first you get the power. Then you get the women. And then you get the money. There you go. No, wait. I think you... No. First you get the power. And then you get the money. And then you get the women. I think that's how it goes. Because if you have... No, that doesn't make any sense. Damn it, Tony. How does it go? I'm going to look this up. 
Tony Montaya, first you get, quote. And I have to also make sure that Jolene does not die on me while I'm looking up these sick quotes. Tony Montaya. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Using a hyper potion. First, you get. Oh, so he's, we're doing an acid fight here. This is what you get. First, you get the acid. And then you hit him with rap. Unfortunately, if this thing lowers my attack, then I'm gonna be. Shoot, I almost looked away and, like, I. That's bad. This stupid screaming plant actually crit me while I wasn't looking. Alright, you know what? Screw you, buddy. I'm gonna focus 100% on Jolene. No, I'm now I'm going back. That's the no, no. People are just giving me fucking random Scarface quotes. You know what? I'm just gonna look up Tom Montana quotes. Here's one quote I definitely remember. He said, which is that the whole world is a pussy. Just waiting to get fucked, I think is one of the things. Alright, I got it from Quote, Ambush Quote Ambitions here. 30 Scarface quote by Tony Montaya. You wanna fuck with me? Okay, you wanna play rough? Okay, say hello to my... Really? That one's at number 30? That is literally number one when you think of Tony Montaya. I'm sorry. I don't... That doesn't make any sense. Jolene's level 36. I should check out what she's about to learn. Nothing. Okay. Shit, well, that's a good thing I looked at her instead of uh, continuing down the list. Uh, let's go with Fisto. In this country, okay, there you go. In this country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, you get the women. Said in a Tony Montaya accent. So it would go like, in this country, you gotta make the money first. Then you get the money, then you get the power. That doesn't sound anything like Tony Montaya. Pop, pop. Bop, bop. Say hello to my little friend. Who put this thing together? Me. That, okay, that one's a good. That one's at number 28 for Tony Montaya quotes. Number 27. Okay, here's the story. I come from the gutter. I know that. I got no education, but that's okay. I know the streets and I'm making... Okay, here's the thing. If your quote is longer than like... There's only like... Okay. Here are the accepted level of length or quotes. About one sentence if it goes longer than a sentence then you are not worthy to be a quote is in my, in my opinion i am ho i can't switch into jolene great because she's low oh no it's gonna have to be a nightmare all right but the only ones that are acceptable for super long quotes are ones that are iconic in some way like the end thing from blade runner that one's a okay, good long quote. I'm gonna say I'm I'm accepting that one as an acceptable answer for an extremely long quote. The other is unlimited blade works because it became a meme of sorts to say it in its full entirety because that's the whole reason it's so memorable. But also it's short form sentences so you remember it easier that way. This is also turning into some might rompin mighty rompin fight I should say. All right. Heal him up a bit. I should have actually switched into Jolene. I didn't know that he would just use Bubble Beam. Now he's using Stomp, which is much worse. Ooh, nice! How dare you protect yourself? <laughs> Fight me, coward! Fight me! There we go. That should be enough to kill. No, what? Okay. I'm going to assume it's going to use Protect right here. I'm going to switch into Jolene so she gets more EXP. That's a, key, that's a big brain move, as they like to call it on the, the internet. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Now I am going to heal Jolene, though. I mean, I would be able to kill, but... One crit from a stomp, or if I'm slower, then I'm dead. There we go. See, I was slower. I did the right thing. 
absorb. All right, let's look. I'm ignoring number 27 from these uh, Tony Montaya quotes. I always tell the truth even when I lie. Tony Montaya, perfect. I'm Tony Montaya. <laughs> number 25 is I'm Tony Montaya. You fuck with me, you fucking with the best. That one's actually. Okay, that's legit. It should have just ended with I'm Tony Montaya. Now we're talking to me, baby. That's what I like. Keep it coming. Never rem I don't remember that. Not worthy enough to be put on this list. 23, you a communist? Uh, man, no. That's a bad one. Every day above ground is a good day. Pretty good Tony Montaya quote, I think. Let me go back and heal now. This literally 21... Okay, no, okay. This one is actually acceptable because it's the bad guy speech he gives. Say goodbye to the bad guy, which I would say that, um... Uh, I would say you would just cut all of it and just leave it at the one. Leave it at the end. You know what? Fuck you. How about that? Yeah, Tony Montaya. Every dog has his day. I never fucked anybody ever in my life. Didn't have it coming to them. You got that? All I have in this world is my balls and my worlds. I don't break them for no one. Do you understand this piece of shit up there? I never liked him. I never trusted him. For all I know, he had set up. Had my friend Angel Fernandez killed, but that's history. I'm here. He's not. Do you want to go on and make me? You don't want me to come out? I remember that one. Why don't you try sticking your head up your ass? See if it fits. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go straight to number one. and I'm going to leave you, everyone. Uh... I'm going to leave everyone with the number one Tony Montaya quote, and that's how we're going to end this episode, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. But let's end it with this one. You know what capitalism is? Getting fucked. <laughs> Tony Montaya. Uh, number two is if you would kiss me, you would wear that. I'm done. Goodbye.